Hi, in this video we will explore a release burn down chart of JIRA reports and this report is very important if you want to know how your team is progressing against the work for the release. This release burn down report will show data based on the estimation statistic that your board is using. So it depends upon on your estimation statistics, it could be a story points or number of hours or issue counts whatever you are using as your estimation statistics release burn down reports will help you to see how quickly your team is working through the backlog and it will also help you to predict how many sprints it will take to complete the work for a version based on a past sprints and changes during the sprint so it is very helpful because it will tell you about the predicted sprints how many sprints this particular version is going to take to complete it now we will see how the release burndown report looks like so it looks like this and you can see we have the instructions of how to read this chart here and we have the graph below and you can see the green and light blue and the dark blue colors here so each bar represent the sprints and each different different colors uh, contains information about this sprint release burn down report is optimized for scrum teams that work in sprints now i'll talk about these different colors so let me tell you what is the meaning of this light green color so light green segment represent the complete work during the sprint and this light blue represent the remaining work in the version or release after the total work estimated at the start of the sprint and when we will combine this light green and light blue segment together then it represent the total work estimated at the start of the sprint this dark blue area represent the work added during the sprint that was not part of the original scope and the dark and the light blue area represent the total remaining work at the end of the sprint together now we'll talk about these gray areas you can see at the end of this chart we have the gray areas or gray bars so these gray bars are the predicted number of sprints it will take to complete the versions based on the previous sprint of performance or the changes in your sprint now i can understand uh, you cannot understand this graph totally with the help of this image only so we will go our jira cloud instance and see how can we access this report and how can we read this report in the real jira instance this is my jira cloud instance and we are in sample scrum project to access the reports as usual as I told you in my previous videos as well we will go to the reports menu in the left hand side and we will search for release burn down chart so you can access this with the help of this left menu so this is release burn down when you will click here then you will be able to access the release burn down report here we are and you can see this particular page just look like our sample release burn down chart we have the informations about the chart how can we read this and the little bit descriptions about the chart uh, track the projected release date for a version and it helps you to monitor whether the version will release on time so you can take it action if work is falling behind so this particular release burn down chart will help you to uh, know how the version release is going on and uh, we have a little bit information in the left hand side so you can see we have the view progress so see sprint by sprint progress for a version uh, it means you can check uh, the progress of a version sprint by sprint and view the scope change so track scope added and removed indicated by the bottom of the bars uh, as i told you this dark blue area represent the scope added and this is a predict release so use past performance to predict the number of sprints needed until completions now we will come uh, down and we will see like we have a report here and in the y-axis we have the story points in the x-axis we have sprints 
and the first bar representing the original estimate at the start of the version but for this version 3.0 we do not have much experience so we can change the versions with the help of this drop down so if you want to change the version of the release burn down report then you can simply go to this drop down and you can do that so we will see the release burn down chart for version 2.0 here we are we have the uh, three sprints when you have the three sprints then only it can show you the predicted number of uh, sprints uh, with the help of the past performance of three sprints so here we are you can see it's a one sprint remaining it is telling you like based on your velocity for the last three sprints it will take one more sprint to complete this version so like this you can predict this particular gray area is telling you now we will see at the original estimate at the start of the version we have added the eight story points because we are using the estimation statistic story point when we will click then it will show the informations in a pop-up and it is telling you at the start of the sprint we have the eight story points and eight story points are remaining if you want to check the information then you can simply click on the bars and it will open the pop-up okay and to close it you have to click it again now we will click here in the light green bar and it is telling you the information about this sprint like at the start of the sprint we have the 80 story points and five story points added to the version because you can see in the dark blue area you can see we have the plus five story points it means five story points added to the version and it is minus eight in this light green bar so it is telling you like eight story points have been completed and five are remaining because we have plus five like we just added the five story points in the version okay so we will click on this bar again so that we can close this pop-up yeah so in the uh, second sprint we have added the four story points and completed the five and just like in the sprint three we have uh, like two story points completed and the two story points are remaining when you will click then you can check the informations in the pop-up this is how you can read the release burn down chart and when you will scroll down you can see we have the information about the sprints like sample sprint 2, sprint 2 and the sprint 1 and we have the information about the completed issues and incomplete issues also. If you want to check the particular issue then you can simply click here and it will open an issue where you can see the detail and the other is informations like a story like issue types priority status and the story points uh, are also mentioned here yeah and when we will come in this section then you can uh, check the plant start date and the plant release date right now i'm using the sample so that's why it's showing none but if you are using the real project then definitely you will add the start date and the plant release date too we have this information as i told you like uh, what is the meaning of this light green light blue and the dark blue then we have the information see here as well this uh, light green work completed work remaining work added and the work forecast so you can take the reference from here as well uh, you know the jira reports uh, are very easy to understand and are very easy to read you can check each and every information so very easily uh, i always find like jira reports are very very useful and simple to use i hope now you can read the release burn down chart very well but still if you have any question related to the release burn down chart then please feel free to ask into the comment box and definitely i'll reply so i hope and i'll request if you want to understand these reports very well then please create a sample project if you don't have any real project and just play with it just try to understand uh, how it works and what kind of information it is showing and how can we change the uh, data and how it will reflect into the reports i hope you like this video and if you are really liking this video then please hit the like button and share your feedback or your question or your queries in the comment area and then please subscribe to this channel so that you can get the notifications about my new videos thanks for watching thank you